Yes, of press briefings, the special project of uh, uh, UCMC to the first anniversary of Maidan continues. We continue to introduce the artists uh, that were inspired by Maidan. You saw some the, of the fine arts projects, and now we are ready to present the music projects. Uh, post Maidan music projects, and I would like to invite the authors of these projects, uh, Telnuk Sisters with the project Come Back Alive, Orest Krisa from uh, Sunny Machine Group, Vasil Tkach uh, with the project Lira Hero, and the moderator of uh, the briefing of these people is Gennady Gudgard, uh, who you already know. Good afternoon. We continue the meetings with uh, the artists, uh, and that's about post Maidan arts. And we already had some of such briefings in the UCMC. And today we decided to invite the musicians, the people who, with their art, proves. Uh, how the art has changed after Maidan, how the audience changed. Uh, today, uh, we will hear uh, about a wonderful project, Come Back Alive. The authors of this project are uh, Telnuk Systems, uh, Sisters and Kozak System. And Telnuk Sisters will talk about this song and how to, it developed into a different genre. We will meet uh, Orest Krisa today, the classical musician. He is the representative of a wonderful musical dynasty who has uh, who's working with uh, contemporary music. I've known him from childhood. I was surprised how he uh, was managing to play this wonderful music without any faults. And uh, the same way, conceptually, he, he introduced me to his project, uh, Sunny Machine. And same way, he's uh, doing a lot of music and uh, uh, adds the words. And he will show the whole concept, uh, how that influences people in the front line at the hospitals. How, uh, what, what impression these people have uh, after that music. And we will also, um, you will also meet my uh, friend Vasil Tkach, who is a monster of Ukrainian electronic music. He's been promoting this type of music all his life, and he makes this music even more topical. And what he's doing now, he will tell now himself. And I would like to say that I'm happy that uh, my friends Kozak system invited me to Kamora studio to the girls when they were just finishing uh, this uh, uh, comeback uh, live song. And we will hear that. And then the girls will tell us how this project is being developed. Ты голос 
Самим приємно дуже згадати ті моменти, коли ми записували цю пісню, і це був надзвичайний порив, який нас з'єднав всіх в одну мрію, в одне бажання перемоги, в одне бажання цього світла, в одне бажання захисту наших кордонів. І тоді ми разом з хлопцями «Козак Системс» назвали це таким мистецьким волонтерством. Це те, що ми могли на даний момент зробити для хлопців, які воюють, які віддають своє життя. Така так, історія дуже коротенька. Вірш написала молода дівчина Ірина Цілик. Вірш був опублікований на сайті Оксани Забушко. Він потім війшов в книгу «Дев'ять місяців. Літопис українського спротиву». «Дев'ять місяців спротиву». Тобто це дуже цікава книга про Майдан, де автором самої книги є ті, хто були учасниками. Люди, які писали пости, які воювали на Майдані, які стояли, які не спали, які писали вірші і новели, враження свої. І така вийшла книга, і цей вірш туди потім війшов. Але от саме в кінці липня, в середині липня, коли ми прочитали цей вірш, така одразу виникло бажання, тому що дуже простий текст, простий вірш, який кожен з нас може сказати такими словами, простими, але дуже дохідливими і такими, які почує серце і душа. Він простий в розумінні, чесний дуже, просто дуже правдивий. Так, і такий. ми вирішили, що це зможуть зробити тільки козаки з нами, і така ідея була давно, і нам це, слава Богу, вдалося. Ну і, власне, зараз від цієї пісні народилося, ми навіть і не думали, що вона так дасть своє продовження, тому що ми були вже щасливі від того, що з'явилася така пісня, і що от 
що у нас начебто новий поворот в житті. І він справді, вона така начебто і підсумкова в нашій творчості до певного етапу, тому що ми всі розуміємо, що у нас було життя до Майдану і стало життя після Майдану, тобто ми змінилися всі. So the people who are involved in creative work, those songs that were born during Maidan and during this war, we've created many songs and these songs were uh, said with blood and tears because uh, we cannot um, be indifferent to what's happening. We have all changed. Uh, there's uh, such an internal change that took place. And uh, then the song come back live, uh, uh, got the second life. Uh, it's like, you know, the God uh, creates such situations. Dmitro Todoryuk, a young director, decided to make uh, the whole theater performance of it. There were different options of how to do that, what, what this could be about. Because now a few people uh, work on such uh, stories, they all look uh, sort of not true because we are all participants of this drama. And if someone uh, performs uh, instead of us, this will look false. And he invented quite an interesting form, the mystery of uh, the present life. Uh, and uh, this is the mystery mystery which includes ballet, choir, orchestra conducted by Alexei Bajanov and uh, there's uh, uh, such an action uh, come back live uh, the story about the hero that Ukraine needs a strong man uh, a defender this defender is young he can love with all the uh, attributes of a male. And this image was created and on the 29th of November. You will see that at 7 o'clock in the evening. This will take place in the premises of a, a municipal uh, um, drum, uh, belly and opera theater for children at Mzhgirska too. You will see this uh, mysteria about us, uh, optimistic uh, work, uh, creative work, which has a lot of music. All the music is composed by Lesa Trinyuk. And that includes the songs written during Maidan, during the revolution, during the war, during the last year. And also that includes the songs uh, that uh, were uh, composed before all these events. And these were like a forecast of the events because we worked with famous people, with great poetry of Vasil Stus and Shevchenko many um, of many those who formed our cultural uh, mentality and the Ivan Leno uh, will be performed by uh, the men's choir these there are things uh, which uh, go into life uh, in spite of whether we want it or not. That is what is required. That's optimism. That's a big belief uh, that we will overcome. That's the hope, the music, which uh, keeps our guys uh, over there and helps them. That is important. Let's not forget it because that is the spiritual force that uh, keeps them there. 
that supports them and every one of them is the hero and now Ukraine has a strong male force, strong protection. In the past, the heroes uh, uh, were killed, they were not noticed, their names were forgotten. On the 19th of November, those who understood, those who knew, uh, were um, commemorating 25 uh, years of reburial of Stus, uh, and we have this uh, uh, play, um, Roman Stalik uh, performs the a uh, part of Vasil uh, Stus, uh, he is in the front uh, line. Uh, he went as a volunteer, but he was led uh, from the front to perform in the play. Roman started uh, uh, composing wonderful uh, verses. He went to the front as an actor, came back as the poet. Talking about heroes, this uh, play, uh, Come Back Alive, is about a new hero. We already have our Ukrainian heroes. Uh, Vasil Stus is one of them. And he's um, the person who is very, very close to us, the person who formed us. Uh, if we had known Stus, we would have never had Maidan. And uh, it's a pity. And uh, to say that not a single Ukrainian TV channels have mentioned uh, has mentioned about this date, and they have never they did not uh, mention this very important moment in history. And speaking about uh, the culture, build a new culture and a new state with new government and with new with new people, adopted people, and these updated people, where they feel their dignity, they feel that. Uh, they are human beings. They they know how to protect themselves and defend themselves, and they can say no to the enemy. They need normal culture, normal uh, information about culture. They need their music, their theater, their literature, and um, they demand that to be co covered broadly. So we would like this um, this play, Return Alive, uh, about which we are talking about here, we want them to pay attention to it. By, uh, we, uh, we invite media to pay attention to that because that is uh, something which is uh, which all of us need. This is uh, this is what unites us. This is what keeps us uh, together. There is a it's a, that culture that's a. Common opinion, common heart beating, and that is uh, that intellectual um, dimension we have to develop uh, together, and that will help us to win. Thank you very much. I would like to draw your attention that theater project came out from the song that you heard. Oris, please. Now we we'll listen to the project. He will he will inform you about the project, and then I will continue our. Let's see it first, and then we will uh, talk about it. Two Ukrainian uh, soldiers, God save you. Нам не страшно ні жити, ні вмерти. Журбани для нас ми завзяті та вперті. Нам не страшно ні жити, ні вмерти. Журбани для нас. Ми завзяті та вперті, все змінилось і змінилися ми, чуєш, друже чи ні? Кожен з нас своє щастя шукав, кожен щось мріяв в собі. А зараз у нас єдина мета, у всіх нас мрії одні. Нам не страшно ні жити, ні вмерти, журбани для нас, ми завзяті та вперті. Нам не страшно ні жити, ні вмерти, журбани для нас, ми завзяті та вперті. Не страшно вмерти, страшно жити в пусту, не людям і не собі. Страшно, коли поруч брат, що прикриє спину в бою. Хоч ми такі різні, але захищаємо єдину країну свою. 
Нам не страшно ни жити, ни вмерти. Журбани для нас, ми завзяті та вперті. Нам не страшно ні жити, ні вмерти. Журбани для нас, ми завзяті та вперті. Любі, рідні, моліться за нас, моліться щоночі, щодня. Доля сміхнеться не кожному з нас, когось прийме сира земля. І в мирні часи згадають не раз відважних бійців імена. Нам не страшно ні жити, ні вмерти, журбани для нас, ми завзяті та вперті. Нам не страшно ні жити, ні вмерти, журбани для нас, ми завзяті та вперті. Нам не страшно ні жити, ні вмерти, журбани для нас, ми завзяті та вперті. Нам не страшно ні жити, ні вмерти, журбани для нас, ми завзяті та вперті. Thank you. This song is very important for me and uh, with Andri together. As soon as the machine when we uh, recorded it, it's very important because uh, it is it was created and transformed during that time when all these events uh, started in our country. And uh, that a part of that song, it was uh, formed before the military activities began. And probably it was dedicated to heroes of Maidan, it was clear. And even before the, uh, the first uh, victims, this song is a witness of those uh, terrible transformation, of that terrible transformation, on the other hand, it's a realization. It's how uh, mentality or mind of our society works. And uh, there were a lot of things that during this time, a man showed themselves to be the man, and women showed themselves to be women. They manifested, so nobody has masks anymore. And many people were able to show their internal nature to full extent. So the, the background is very tragic. When the, the first victims and uh, military activities uh, began, and this uh, song transform, transformed into um, like a combat song, and we wanted it to uh, sound we want it to be simple, with guitar, to be associated with a possible performance uh, where people, when people can, uh, uh, Ukrainian military men could sing it uh, by themselves uh, near a bonfire or with a guitar. And the best compliment to me was that uh, at one of the events where we were raising funds, uh, for the battalion, there was one one military man on rotation, uh, and our one soldier. And he told that could you uh, download load it and that song into my uh, my phone? For me, as the author, that was uh, the highest level of recognition. And uh, the song now is uh, in the network, traveling because of unique company. They uh, they spread it all by all possible means, and we agreed that money, money people donate for selling their son in internet, that will be uh, given to uh, to support um, our soldiers. I would like to mention Oren Mucha because uh, he helped us uh, to record it, and uh, many people didn't have anything. And uh, they didn't know, uh, no context. And the uh, people, or Spitkuis, Spitkui Mucha. And uh, we communicate, we look for the ways of uh, uh, communication and. 
we're trying to be useful for the society. And uh, that's, these are transformations are wonderful. And uh, I wish these uh, transformations had to give good fruits. And we'll remember our heroes, those who died and who live, and that um, that uh, sentence, we are not afraid to live or die. That's uh, the description of our life, because sometimes it's uh, more awful to live than to die, because circumstances turn to us in such a way that we have to overcome many things in our life. So this uh, transformation is very painful, but we need it. And I hope that we deserve it. I will go through and uh, with uh, go through it. Now we saw how classical musicians, mu mu musician from the state uh, orchestra, symphonic uh, symphony, he um, conducts for guitar for that song to be for uh, to be played uh, on a very simple level. Vasil Tkach, it's a, a modern electronic music. Uh, seems like it's a genre which is uh, that easy, but it takes a lot of work. I know just only, I know how difficult that to do it with a good uh, quality uh, like Vasil does uh, for many years. And I will listen to that uh, composition and then he will tell us more about uh, what happened in Ukrainian electronic music these days.
Thank you. That's my project. It is called uh, Belief, and uh, the first son is a hero. The project it is uh, four months uh, old, and this is the only published uh, song. And what were the preconditions and uh, what was the motivation to start this project, Ukrainian music? Because of our great um, singers, is more or less represented on the international uh, market as in jazz music, rock music, folk, folk music, and alternative music. But uh, it is upset on the level of IDM. It, electronic dance mu music. That is uh, the biggest market at present. And uh, though this in international industry goes through difficult times, the market uh, DM is good, is big. And the, the person who, the one person who is uh, in the, uh, is the leader made uh, $66 million last year. And there is no Ukrainian singer or DJ who could be identified as a Ukrainian. Yes. Not with a, uh, not someone who has a nickname. I, th I think it's not good. And we have to in interfere. We have to tell the world that we are here. And we are fighting not only for freedom. We're not only the country where we have uh, a crisis, ongoing crisis and that we can only complain, but we can be happy with life and uh, that we can we can speak the a common language with uh, technological developed industries uh, such um, in industry of entertainment. To compete with Western top musicians, we were doing everything in England uh, mastering and everything was done at London studio and thanks to that the song was included into main many playlists of the world DJs now this song is played on uh, uh, 50 radio broadcasting stations in uh, the US and Europe we have 24,000 views uh, or maybe more in SoundCloud a month ago we announced the competition of remix in the world uh, resources and we received about 500 uh, remixes from world DJs only four were from uh, Ukraine three from Donbass and one from Kiev many high quality works uh, and uh, even uh, th those who we did not uh, select as the winners of the competition, they still distribute the song of Ukrainian performer in Ukrainian language. Uh, there was another important thing why that was uh, created after Maidan and uh, oriented to the West, because previously many Ukrainian artists uh, were making projects in Russian language for the Russian market. All my life I've been uh, making the projects in Ukrainian language. Now 100% our only uh, way is either be here or move to the West. And I hope that the next song will go even further. With the next song, we'll get to the charts. Uh, with that song, we are in the charts of 100 uh, best new EDM performers that the chart of the US. There are difficulties, there are difficulties which are related to uh, bureaucrats, politics, money. We don't have uh, access to many resources, Spotify, Radio. These are the network streaming resources where people listen to music when you go there, you see uh, that this service is not uh, uh, accessible by your country, only people the same. But uh, what's nice that they take, uh, uh, the DJs take that to their playlist, to rotation. And even despite the fact that that song in some strange language, which they do not know, once it's done professionally, they are ready to listen to that and um, enjoy that. Thank you. 
I would like to thank you from Ukraine, uh, from Ukrainian Crisis Media Center, Gennady Gurdgartz, uh, when he gets together the artists and we present here wonderful projects because we know that volunteers help our army uh, in kind. But uh, talking about arts, it's as important as weapons, as material assistance, as food, uh, because to uh, support the um, army and uh, all the servicemen this way is very important. And we get many uh, good wishes and many requests from the uh, servicemen to support them this way. They are happy to receive postcards and letters which are sent to them by children, by artists. So thank you for presenting these wonderful projects. And we do hope that via media channels they will reach a wider audience of Ukrainians and uh, will reach Eastern Ukraine. I would like to thank you, CMC, that I'm entrusted to invite people here because, well, these are my friends. I love their work, and it's great that uh, the um, public is interested in that and the topic that we have been uh, uh, discussing here the arts uh, after Maidan in different genres. And we uh, today we've heard what's happening in the genre of music. This is the topic which is in demand uh, in Ukraine and outside of Ukraine that I hope that maybe this month we will uh, bring more artists. Uh, any questions? Then I have a question. Have you been to the east of Ukraine with these projects in the liberated city, Slavyansk, Kramatorsk? Do people in the east hear your songs? Uh, I know that uh, the songs with um, our songs and um, the wonderful songs of other performers who are so seriously, so serious and so responsible, they were given to warriors to the war and this song come back alive together with the radio sets uh, and they can listen to these songs there uh, or record uh, the recorders and other things and we when we performed uh, um, to the tank uh, brigade we were singing that song and they were singing with us uh, come back alive. Did you go to the East with your song, with the song while it wasn't ready? We did not uh, perform it, but we performed it in Kiev uh, during these um, activities uh, when uh, there were the servicemen of the National Guards and volunteers, and in the hospital we performed it to the wounded uh, soldiers. Uh, but I would like to say that sometimes we were afraid to sing it, especially here in peaceful city, because uh, when the um, servicemen are having a rest, uh, they want to hear lyrical songs. They don't want to talk about what was happening to them down there. They're asking about what's here. And when you perform to them, it's like to children. It's a very big responsibility. You cannot make mistakes because it's a huge emotional tension. The contact is very close. Are you planning to organize some joint project uh, to present these projects to the warriors, uh, to servicemen who come back? Um, uh, the life will show it's difficult to say every day uh, things change. Everyone has its own, his or her own project. Every day things change. It's difficult to say anything. That's uh, something really important. Uh, Vasil works on radio and uh, the girls give uh, their songs to 
the uh, radio stations and for Orest, uh, it's easier with the guitar to perform anywhere. For example, the fact that we are here today and that we all together give this information to the big audience, that's very important. And I would like to add, my project Lira is very new. I didn't uh, perform it uh, anywhere, but my previous uh, project, the Girls of Roda uh, group, they performed to Warriors and they performed uh, at the stage in Maidan during revolution. I also would like to thank everyone who was involved in the flash mob of the song uh, Come Back Alive. And we would like to thank everyone, the teachers, the children. You are supporting the warriors by what you are doing. And we thank you. We will indicate about all this. Pro we will talk about all these projects in our press releases, and media will get this information, and we'll announce the project which will take place in the children musical theater. Thank you for raising the spirit of our servicemen by your projects. Thank you, colleagues. And our next press briefing 